Jeff here. We've got this new knife I want to review, show you this Mu knife. M-U, Mu. This comes from uh, Japan. These knives are handmade. Beautiful, high carbon chrome molly bednum steel. And uh, the handle is a Mercada. That is a layered uh, synthetic, which is just really, really beautiful. And you can see all the different uh, layers in there. Very, very, very nice. I uh, love the handle and the, the way it seems together, the handle to the forged blade. This knife is really, really nice. Uh, I love the balance and the feel. I like how thin it is right in here. And the transition is perfect, beautiful. And uh, it's just super high quality. Nice and thin, taper, good shape. And we're going we're gonna to do a couple different things with this knife today. This is a Mu 104, which is an 8-inch chef knife. I'm going to be showing you a few basic cuts with some apples. We're going to do a brumois. Brumois is 1 8 by 1 8 by 1 8 And we're going to move off to a few other cuts as well. So you take your apples and you stack them up for a brumois. Just uh, move the knife up and down like this. One eighth by one eighth by one eighth is what we're looking for. Right now I have a julienne. We're going to start with that. Julienne. Okay, for the brumois, you, you line the pieces up and just very carefully give them a cut. Trying to get every one of them. That right there is a brumois finished brumois. Okay, moving on to the small dice. Small dice is approximately one quarter inch by one quarter inch. We're going to be using these slices here. Line them up. If you're not sure about the sizes, you can use a ruler. Uh, when I'm training people in culinary school, we often use a ruler so they can get a little more accurate on their sizing. Of course, we're going to be eating some of this apple as well. line them up. If you're looking for perfection, you can take this off and reserve this for a fruit salad. And now we're going to be doing our small dice right here. Quarter inch by quarter inch. And that's it right there. Small dice. Okay, now we're moving on to medium dice. Medium dice is half inch by half inch. I'm looking for a flat side first. Right here. most important thing with sizing is that the sizes are consistent. So we're going to do these uh, medium dice just like so. There you go, medium dice. Next we have a large dice. Large dice is approximately three quarters by three quarters. We'll be using this part of the apple to achieve a large dice. With large dice we generally only make a couple a couple of large dice cuts because uh, it's not used that often. And you want them to be square of course, it's the most important. One more cut I want to show you is the batonet. Batonet is one quarter by one quarter. This is a batonet right here. The next cut we're going to be making is the french fry cut. You need a flat surface to begin with. French fry is approximately one half by one half by three. So we're going to go with this cut right here. One half by one half, about like this. This will be my french fry cut. So we have the finished cuts here. Finished cuts we have uh, in order brumois, small dice, medium dice, large dice, french fry, batonet, and julienne. 